All right, and we are back. Uh, Bioshock Infinite. Uh, we're about to go down the street. Last episode, we uh, just got to uh, the city here and uh, checked out the sweet uh, statue. And uh, now we're gonna uh, actually head into the city. So let's take a look. All of these shops are closed. Uh, let's just uh, walk along here. Some kids playing in the street water. It's actually really good water for a game this old. Uh, in fact, Bioshock 1 and 2 both had excellent water effects. Uh, obviously much older than this even, so... Uh, so this is where we start to see things uh, a little different here than they are in the rest of the world. Got some crazy stuff going on in there. I don't know if it's working quite as well as it should be. He doesn't seem too concerned. Bunch of stuff here. Can't seem to take any of it there. This whole uh, right event to attend on a day like today is serious business. You know? Can't be it. Whole raffle uh, parade thing is a really clever way of uh, kind of telling some backstory about uh, where you are without being very blunt about it. I mean, I guess that was pretty in your face, but uh, you know, it fits, right? They're having a celebration. There's a parade celebrating uh, the founding of the city. It's pretty good stuff. Alright, 1912 Raffle and Raffle Fair. And fair. <laughs> Always gotta check out these little side pavilions. Never know uh, what you're gonna find. Cotton candy, boom. A little health. We uh, we took some damage when we uh, were baptized there. A little drowned, I believe. Child. So here's one store that is actually open. Cloudless skies, warm temperatures, and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day. You're on your honor for money in the basket. Huh? And now, back to the music. So I will say we're not going to be too hard pressed for money. Um, but I also happen to know that this makes no difference what uh, the decision I make here, so. So I'm just gonna live it up. Take everything we can. Here you go. Including other people's money. I promise I'm not too terrible. Who is this girl? So if you remember, uh, we have AD on the back of our right hand. So I'm trying a slightly different audio mix this time. Uh, before I was recording the game sounds and my microphone to two separate channels and then uh, muxing them in post, but it seems uh, that it would be a lot simpler if I did it uh, straight in the recording software, which is what I've done now, and uh, I have it at a 50% mix for the... Uh, Here we go, that's what I'm talking about. 50% uh, game sounds and 100% microphones. We'll see uh, see how that turns out. I might have to tweak it later. Um, 
I didn't, I didn't do a test recording. Probably should have. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. Bet you are. Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I bet I would. I'll come back for you. No matter how far, how long, I won't. The NPCs in this game actually look really good. The facial animations are great. Um, eyes are a little stylistically big. The hair is super flat. Um, this is kind of pre, uh, you know, tessellated hair and all that. But, uh, you know, not bad for the day. It's got its own style. I like it. It's consistent throughout the game, which is really the most you can ask for. Here we go. Yeah. One man goes into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. I'm just gonna try and tweak my mouse sensitivity again. Just the tiniest amount. Who is that man who there we go. Oh, a little twitchy. Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Okay. Um can't actually buy her flowers. Hi. It's kind of hit and miss as to whether uh, NPCs will interact with you. These guys will just keep singing until we come over here, so. Oh, and there they go. Columbia's gayest quartet. No comment. There. They can be whatever they want to be. Music's over, guys. Break it up. Get a room. Raffle and fair. Fireworks special prices. Lewis Brothers. I'm just gonna take all the things. Why not? Health, salts, whatever. On me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Populi, now do I? This is the second time we've heard the term Box Populi, which uh, I believe translates to Voice of the People. Um, we'll find out more about them later. At the moment. Uh, we're just hearing hints of it, though. I don't want to miss any of these uh, Silver Eagles. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Monument Island. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Hmm. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Tess. Hmm. Alright, that's the first time we've all uh, heard Tess, of course. Try to be fairly spoiler free going forward. Um, oh my god, the impropriety. I'm just gonna let you guys uh, back slowly away. So here's a fun little Easter egg if you uh, weren't familiar with this or haven't played the game before. Um, obviously, there's a little viewing scope here. We can. Uh, take a look at Monument Island. I actually really like the lens distortion here. It's very uh, detailed. Um, and uh, oh, there's some uh, people down there juggling. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. And they're gone. Crazy, right? Uh, sorry, I, I leaned back a little bit from my microphone there. I might have lost it. Um, but yeah, there were some people juggling and uh, when we stepped away my they were gone. good day to you, sir. Hello. Intensity of his eyes. I like your hat. Marlowe's patented vigors, murder of crows. Hooligan to turn. Double's kiss. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out where these guys were. Hot dog. No jugglers here.
this guy. Hello there, friend. Oh. Didn't even look at me. Can I steal your pop? No, I can't steal your pop. Don't you let me through here, pal. The streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's okay. enough TNT road back block. there to blow PK to find another way around. Not even a road Again. there. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell you. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Mr. Jeremiah Fink. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the... Heh, <laughs> I think I know what this is. All of those amphibians Minor victory. One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of oh your boy. fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked. What else? What else? We got some more food. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking Bronco. Whether you need lift, so these are pretty good. Uh, you can win some good prizes with these. The Find the devil, good sir, devil and out. cast him out. Just have to hit the devil three times. How hard can it be? Right mouse to bigger. Man. Oh. And there's devil oh, number one. I got her instead. It's alright. Do better next time. Bam. Devil number two. Woo! He's on a roll. Nice little living room scene. And that's three. We have a winner. Right, and uh. If you need it lifted, long and tossed or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. All right, and then uh, what you can do, you can keep playing it. You can't win the, the good prize again, but you can win the lesser prizes. I'm not going to bother doing that, uh, just because I don't feel too hard up for coin. Now, we are going to explore around a little bit. What do we got? Got a high striker. back here, and if I remember there's some uh, kids back here smoking some cigarettes, as you do. Do not recommend that behavior. Got a shooting gallery here with a, a weapon you get later in the game. Well, an air version of it. This one's actually quite a bit of fun. Um, but I'm gonna uh, skip it for time. Up the back there. What else? Hot dogs, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Alexander Hot Dogs. Come on, fine. Hear your voice. Say something, Sonny. What's a box of fun? <laughs> What's a box of fun? Exactly that. Wow. A record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration. Sky Crane demo. This guy. Now. It is not possible to buy this. This is a leftover from the original E3 demo of this game, um, where uh, you could buy this and then you had to use it. Um, and at the time, it says four there. And at the time, it basically had a certain number of charges. You could only use this four times. Um, and then later, they kind of re redid it and then introduced it, uh, the salts, um, where once you have this item, uh, you, you have the ability to use Bucking Bronco as many times as you want until you run out of salt, uh, which is ultimately a better system. Uh, this one's also Moving on. 
All right, so first look at a handyman. Sort of the uh, big daddy of this uh, Bioshock version. Have you ever seen a nice like assault machine here? Sad. There are three uh, unlimited amounts of salts. And just looking around real quick. Not much else to see. Now, in order to get past this guy, guessing that don't mean me. It's the juggling people back there. Alright, we're gonna take a free sample of possession. They're all ears. Very good at selling us. <laughs> and there will be a short demo video telling us how Press to use to turn it. Turn machines into allies. Oh, this was uh not designed for 4K. All right. Who's in there? All right. So basically now. I can right click to use this. And I used half my salts, and I could actually go back and uh, use it on this vending machine. So the price is now 375. And I can use that. Oh, I actually can't get it down. Uh, but it will dump a bunch of money on the floor. So we have 100 now. All right, moving on. Heads or tails? Come on, let me through. Heads or tails? <laughs> tails. I told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. This is our. Uh... First indication in this game that choice might not be so simple as uh, making a choice. Songbird song. Sorry, I have to open up all of the all of the different things. Look at that. Looks it's compulsory. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Back in five minutes. My lady can't stop, of course. More coins. Always enjoying the coins. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. We're gonna flush the box out of the skyline system. We gotta have the best. Mm -hmm. You got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox Go. <laughs> Remember, skyhooks don't kill people, people kill people. When this game came out, it was actually considered uh, very violent for the day. Well, that was weird. Uh, very violent, and people complained about the, the skyhook as a weapon. There's some uh, kind of uh, death scenes with it, and uh, uh, Ken Levine's response to that was, hmm, Skyhooks don't kill people, people don't kill people, which, uh, yes, I was quoting there. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady. But I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. The girl in the tower. So I've got to leave this. Our Lutess gave Columbia her wings. Kind of saw that uh, turn from a dude into a lady, and... 
looks uh, surprisingly like the uh, the duckling guy, uh, guy in the lady that we just talked to. What the? This does not bode well for us. Uh, just uh, just want to say that. Guess what? We are attending the raffle. Uh, here it up ahead. I have less to do. So I'm playing on hard, which I believe affects uh, the uh, quantity and quality of pickups. Um, so I think a lot of these uh, bins and stuff that are empty wouldn't normally be. If I was playing on a harder difficulty. Hello. Ah, uh, assaults. That's okay. Uh, you know, I don't know. This is it. This is it. I feel like I've waited all year for this. Oh, that was an 80% sense. Do I not take it? Oh, it's 80%. Very into the song. And now, the 1912 raffle has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me! So don't pick 77. Is that the telegram. Not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? Well, in my first playthrough, this is where I started to feel very uncomfortable. Is number 77. Oh, what do you know? Over here! Over here! He's the winner! Come and claim your prize! First round! Whoa. Days. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a shy one. Throw at an answer. It's him. Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? A snake in the grass. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Stop him! Yeah, that's got some, uh... Not so great. Yeah! Not some great... Not some great press for... The uh, for the time this came out, this was pretty, was pretty intense. Just uh, no, I know, I know. Okay, right. we're going. I see him. Broad, a gun. Monument Island. You come, Stock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, 
I have a man in Georgia who lease us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they are simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this game deals with some heavy stuff. I mean, nothing that real life hasn't already uh, taught us, but... There we go. Ow. Okay. I forgot I was playing on hard for some there. Hour. Money. Oh, money. For your safety. And so, uh, this. Call out the firemen. That. Oh well for me possibly. Wow. First off, I don't know what I did to deserve all of this aggressive behavior. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Maybe I do deserve the aggressive behavior. Things are about to get a little heated here, uh, so I think we'll get through this next battle and call it a night. Alright. Let's do this. Just gotta remember possession does not work on this guy. What's going on? But we got a new vigor out of that, so well, you only live once. that was a lot easier than I remember it being, even on hard. <laughs> yeah, some of these scenes are honestly terrifying as well. All right. All right. Ooh. Press to throw a fiery grenade. Yes. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. As one would expect. <laughs> there wasn't no sample. Now let me. Yes, I understand that. Just make sure we get to a, a point we can save at here. This fire. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Wait, so now we can hold Q to switch between things? I'm just gonna give that guy a little taste of that.
Oh, we will be able to save the group up here, actually. Oh, now they really took care of him. Gotcha, Fox! Oh. Sorry. Alright. So maybe they were right when they said this game was violent, but like, compared to games that come out nowadays, this is not. Let's drop salts there, and we're gonna head right inside. And uh, that'll save and take us to the next area. So I'm gonna call it here. Uh, this has been a ton of fun, obviously. Um, I know I'm going through this game pretty slowly. I like to stop and uh, investigate everything, and there's a lot to see in here, so we're gonna do it in the next video. Uh, Alright, have a nice day.